everyone, and welcome back to Old Mods 9. In the last episode, we finished construction of our B house, our B box, our apiary, if you will. Uh, there is some things will change. For example, this little system here. Oh, it works, which is cool. I wasn't sure if it would actually work, but um, it, it can actually pull the honey out. That is really good for us. Um, but we're actually going to redesign this so that the water is not on the inside uh, because it, it looks pretty bad and it's kind of... It's very awkward, um, but but that's oh that's that's really good. Um, in terms of like bee breeding and whatnot, we only did one bee breeding throughout the entire last episode, which was a little bit upsetting. But we, we got a bit carried away, um, and it was with the green carpenter bee and the yellow carpenter bee to give us da -da 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 -da, the lumber bee, and it's getting us oak logs, oak leaves, and obviously honey in the form of that over there, which is pretty cool. Um, so, what's next? Honestly. We need honey, honey, <laughs> which sounds pretty silly, but we do. We just need like actual honey. Now to get that, we have two options. One is I can give these guys back their little bee nest that I've got packaged up here with the packing tape um, and they'll use it, right? But then I've got to figure out a way to automate it, which like I can do it, right? You put it on top of a campfire. We could even use integrated dynamics to like detect when it has honey and then activate the shears or you could just have the shears going on stop. Like there's options to do it. But I'd rather just not, you know what I mean? But I'll tell you what, we'll leave it for now, as in I'll see if I can do something else. Um, but we'll see. By the way, in case you're not sure how we're flying, we have a, a tablet of flight ritual from um, Airs Nouveau. Because I imagine if you just jumped into this episode, you'd be like, how's he, how's he flying around? Because it's really, it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, yeah, it lasts for like a minute. Um, unless you're near it, in which case it just replenishes. So... I could also, you know what, hold on, just real quick, because this will be very beneficial. Particles, if I just get rid of this like potion particle effect, I think that would be absolutely perfect. The problem is, I go to pee and there's no potion particle. <laughs> what would you call it? What, what could you possibly call the potion particle? Oh, okay, I think it's entity effect. Status effects, like lingering potions and stuff. So now we don't have that like particle in front of us. Cool, All right, okay. There you go. There you have it. Um, so yeah, on top of that, we also made a set of um, armor, which is pretty good. It looks like it's going to keep us uh, pretty well protected. We chucked mending on it all, so that's all, all well and good. And we made a sword. Now, the sword oh, um, has a lot of room for improvement, which is good. Uh, we may do that this episode, but I, we, we, kinda, we didn't do much of the bee stuff last episode, so I want to just, I want to I want to be this episode up, right? I, I want to do a lot. Um, to do that, we have, once again, <laughs> we, we have those options, um, in terms of how we get this up and running. We can check the map real quick. There's a creeper over there. Sometimes, like, there'll just be bees, right? There's a bat. I don't think I can chuck a bat in a, in a bee cage. But aside from that, we're, we're not too lucky. Um, okay. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to pretend it's fine, at least. Um, so, so, in order to get bees, right, we, we have some options. Um, I have actually removed like all the bees we had bookmarked. I was going to aim for an ancient bee. This guy here. Who needs a diamond bee? Who needs a lapis bee? Who needs, say, a blue banded bee? The blue banded bee we can get from a dirt nest that is given a honey treat. The honey treat consists of a honeycomb and a honey bottle. And that will give you a honey treat. Or a honey block and some four honeycombs to get four, right? So, so, so that's our option. Honeycomb, honey bottle, pretty much. We can make one. We can try to get our hands on this blue banded bee. But if we have a look here, he doesn't do anything, right? Like this is all we've got. Whereas if we right click a diamond bee, you can see it has the beehive tab and it gives you a comb, at least some sort of comb, right? Same goes for pretty much all these bees. If we want a honeycomb, which obviously I need for the honey treat, um, we can we can grow up with mystical agriculture. I'm gonna once again try to sort of avoid that stuff at least in the beginning. Um, or you get it from just a bee. It looks like just a vanilla bee. Now, once again, with that being said, sometimes you can use any honeycomb. Although, kind of looks like it's not cycling between honeycombs. So I think we have to use this honeycomb. Um, okay. Can I dissolve any honeycomb? No, just vanilla honeycombs. Okay. <laughs> Sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. We need a bee then. And the bee doesn't spawn outside of just getting lucky. What's this guy? A carpenter bee again. What's this guy? Is this some sort of better bee? A yellow carpenter bee? Okay. Um. Man. All right. I'll tell you what. 
we're, we're gonna have to set up the the system that I didn't want to set up. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to do it. It it won't be that bad, right? Like I, I think I can do it relatively easily. Let's try to pick these guys up before the uh, night comes around. Where'd that other guy go? Has he already found his way his way away? Mm, he may have. Ah, here he is. Tried to escape. All right, cool. So I've got two more bees that, I mean, that'll be good once we get them up and running. Uh, in terms of automating the bee thing, I am going to try to set up, I mean, ideally a player simulator. I know that you can just do a dispenser, but I feel like it gets messy. Oh, you know what? We'll do a dispenser. <laughs> I've, I've talked myself into it. We'll, we'll have a dispenser. We're going to give it shears. Now with shears, we can just make shears from silent gear. These guys are going to be ridiculous, uh, depending on what we make them out of. For example, I think I can just grab like two diamonds and make diamond shears, which will have an insane durability. Um, yeah. Now there's more that we can do to these, I know, but uh, what can I do? Can I just give them like a blaze rod? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, what's the difference? Durability, 1486. Um, 1486. Same durability, but this one looks a little bit cooler. <laughs> Why not? There, now, listen, there's plenty we can do. I'm sure of it, but for now, this is fine. So we're going to have a dispenser with shears, and we're going to hope that that works in the first place. We are going to grab a campfire um, for the beehive to sit on top of, right? To follow that up, we are going to get an inventory... Uh, do I want an inventory reader? I think I want an inventory reader from uh, Integrated Dynamics. So we're going to aim for this, and, and I guess we'll just <laughs> sort of see how that goes. Can I make some chests with this crafting recipe? I cannot. Awesome. In some versions, they let you do that. They let you just craft like eight chests at once. Um, all right, cool. Inventory reader. Awesome. Um, this guy's going to need some logic cables to go along with that. It, realistically, I'll need a redstone um, writer as well to obviously output the redstone of whatever it is that I'm doing here. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try to hook that up too. I made one too many redstones. That's that's great. That's, that's good. That's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> all right. I, I think that's good. Possibly a variable card. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we'll, we'll try this. I think we've got everything we need. Um, oh, I won't be surprised if we've missed something, but for now, for now it should be fine. Um, so I'm going to just slap it here. It's going to be quite horrific. We're going to go ahead and place the campfire. We're going to place our packed, packed block on top. And now we have a bee nest. I'm going to hope that these bees go in it. They might not because I don't know if it originally belonged to them, but we'll see. He's... Possibly got his eye on it. Come on. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, they might they might need log nests, to be honest. Oh, oh, hold on. I, I do want to try this because I want to make sure that we're doing it right from the get-go instead of automating the completely wrong thing. Um, let's go oak nest. Oh, sorry. Uh, nest. Oh, oh, God. Enter. There we go. Uh, so to do that, we're going to need a wooden sword. Nice and easy. And then you just chuck it in with a log and you can get your oak nest. Wonderful. So we'll chuck this guy in here because I think they're, I mean, they're carpenter bees, right? They spawn in log, in log nests. So I might actually just pack this back up um, and pick it up just so that, you know, we've got it for something else. Cool. The oak nest. Um, I, I, You know what I want to do? I, I, I want to, <laughs> I want to do it. I can't help myself. Um, Can we get some sort of, I've got to just manually switch my pickaxe. Is there like a key bind to switch? I feel like there might be a way to do that, but I guess it's fine. Is this, oh, it didn't even work. <laughs> All right, everything's fine. I'm going to place a campfire there. I'm going to replace this log with an oak nest. That should hopefully spawn a bee or get a bee in there. Maybe I might have to do two oak nests. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so he's in there. Ah, uh, but I don't think, I don't think that makes honeycomb regardless. I, am I just like wasting time here? Carpenter B. Like they don't just, I think he just goes in there and just, he just, he just has fun. I think I need more of like these lumber bees because if this guy's in a normal nest, he just makes like honeycombs, right? But if he's in here, he makes honey. <sighs> yeah, that, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll just make a bunch of those, I think. All right, okay. <laughs> sure, sure. So I think we do want this, hold on. <laughs> I think we do want this guy on top of a campfire 
Like there. Oh my god. What a- I- I apologize. Profoundly. <laughs> for the experience you're currently, uh, partaking in by watching this video. Oh! I hit the, um, I hit the hive. With a stick. And, I mean, it kind of worked. <laughs> Alright. He seems arguably okay. This guy's still- he's fuming, mate! Are you gonna chill? Oh, okay. Is he- Is he actually chill now? He's not just gonna get mad when he turns around and realizes I didn't go anywhere? Alright. <laughs> Everything's fine. Alright, you're gonna go there. Awesome. Do I even have my dank still? I do. Uh, okay, okay. We're, we're back in business. Operation do things is a go. I'm gonna go ahead and breed these two together so that we can get another lumber bee in the midst. Um, I'm also going to run out here and just like steal some more flowers. I assume these will work, so we'll go ahead and uh, yeah, sure, grab ten of them. Oh, you know, what? I think we're growing flowers elsewhere as well. It, it, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to chuck these two in here, and I'm going to also flower them both together. Lumber bee galore, right? So hopefully some will go in here. Um, what we're also going to do is just cover this up so it looks nice. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> now, let's see how this works. So, I want to obviously set up an inventory reader here. Um, I would like to connect it to a logic cable, and we can open it up. So, currently, it's saying the inventory is full and empty, so I don't think it's reading it properly. I was hoping it would read the amount of honey, but that's fine. We can, we can keep looking through and see if there's anything else. No. No, none of that is accurate, or at least what we'd expect. So, we're going to need something else. Now, there are quite a lot of options in terms of integrated dynamics. Um... That could be the case. That, that's the problem with the mod, honestly, is that there's so many things that could work. If we search reader, right, there is a block reader. I mean, the thing's a block. Maybe that's what we want. Like, genuinely, maybe that's what we want. Um, we don't want an entity, but we don't want that. We don't... Uh, reads fluid tanks. Well, it's not a fluid tank, but it has honey fluid in it. Technically, I guess. So, maybe we want that. Inventory reader didn't work. And then there's machine reader. I mean, it doesn't use power or anything, but once again, it's like a functional block. You know what I mean? So like it could be a machine, maybe. I, I probably wouldn't say it is, but it could. And then the world reader has information about blocks. Of course it does. Um, so my guess, we'll, we'll try the block reader. I mean, we can craft it. Why not? Um, and if we can craft this guy as well, we may as well, but looks like we can't. That's fine. Um, I'll grab two buckets, fill these guys up with water, and we'll try to craft that last thing. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if uh, we can make one of those. Because eventually we'll use it, right? Like, it's not the end of the world if we make it and don't need it right now. Um, like, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it, I'm sure. I don't know what's going on here, but I guess we're using a steel ingot. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure that's well worth my uh, steel. Oh, God. I already feel like I'm making horrible, <laughs> horrible decisions. All right, you go in there. Awesome. Input cards. I mean, they're all just like little tedious crafting recipes. All right, cool. Fluid reader and our other reader. I mean, I'll try the block reader first. Ah, I'll try the fluid one first because I assume it won't work. But if it does, it would be really cool. So we'll check this. No, it's saying it's full. It's not detecting any liquids. Um, because it does have like a little bit in there, right? Like one out of five. But, you know, there's, there's no ratio in there that said like 20% or anything. Uh, block reader. Let's see. Uh, it says where it is. It says what it is. It has an error about the biome. That's fine. Um, and that's it. Great. Okay. Cool. Now, alternatively, you know what? I think I've actually, I think I know the easier solution. This thing changes, right? It produces honey, like, droplets when it becomes full and, like, shearable. So, I think an observer would just work <laughs> if we just go back to vanilla. Um, observer. That guy should detect it, right? And then all I need to do is get the redstone um, into the other thing. Possibly with a repeater. It might get a bit messy with a repeater, but we can give it a shot. <laughs> I guess. Go here. Here we go. There we go. All right. So, an observer there. I think that's the right way. I guess we can double check this log. Um, yep. That looks right. 
And so, in, in theory, this goes there, there, and hold on, and there. Yeah. Okay. And then this guy gets the shears, which are here. So once this thing is fully ready, this should shear it, right? In the perfect world, <laughs> once again, I don't know if we're in the perfect world. I don't know if I'm big brain play here or small brain. Um, we're going to go item collector. These guys are pretty neat. Uh, we just need the tier one. Nice and easy. By the way, I... <laughs> It is very funny, in my opinion, that, like, I'm talking about, like, oh, mystical agriculture, it's, you know, it's a little bit cheatsy. You know, I, I want to tr do some creative ways to, to to make some stuff. We've got a lot of mods here that we can work with. And I try to set up this convoluted al al chemistry plan to, to get our hands on enderpills, right? And and in theory, it works. It's just we need a lot more uh, resources pumped into it. So I spend time doing that, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that's great. That that's That's really cool, you know? Oh, I don't want to just grow the seeds. No, 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 no. Like two episodes later, I make this thing <laughs> and I, I set it up where we trade one ender pearl for an emerald. We set that guy up to be just fully automated. And then over here, we have a guy trading sticks for emerald. <laughs> oh God. How, like, oh, how do I sleep at night? <laughs> I'm a criminal, a crook, <laughs> a fraud. <laughs> All right. Um... But yeah, I think, I think that machine just works and then we'll set this guy up. We'll set up, um, well, you probably do a draw. Why not? It'll just store a bunch of honeycombs, I guess. And that should be pretty good. And I don't see a problem with that. So, um, we'll place this guy here with that on top. Maybe. What's he at currently? Two out of five? Cool. Oh, three out of five now. Excellent. So a little bit more to go. We've got some more roses we can trade with. We'll... I was going to put that back, but I guess we can't. I may be able to put some, like, facades up to pretend that there's a tree there, <laughs> I guess. Do any of these guys want to breed again? Oh, they actually do. Cool. You can go there. You can go there. And you can go there. Nice. So we're just going to fill this stuff up with bees. Keep in mind, if you're playing on a server, be conscious about what bees you need and what you don't. For example, I should probably pick up these carpenter bees since I don't really need them anymore. Um, in terms of the lumber bees... Um... I would need like one of these bees to be able to go any further. But yeah, we'll, we'll leave it as it is. They've got logs to breed. Um, they've got a log, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Ah, uh, huh. It, it, hmm. Huh? Why'd it drop the shears? Like I get that a dispenser drops things, right? But it's not a dropper. It's a dispenser. It should, is, it, is it because it's like, these shears, and it's not just like vanilla shears, maybe? Hmm. Or is it because it couldn't do anything? Right? Because this guy isn't, uh, complete? You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have the honey going out of him? I'll keep an eye on it. There's currently a bee in there, so once he pops out, we're at four out of five, and then it's a very short while until we're at five out of five. So, so I might just... It's, there's two bees in there, so I'll just wait, and we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. So when the bee pops out, he doesn't care. He just, he just does his thing. Interesting. I'll chuck that in there because I do want to catch it when the honey happens, right? There is something else we can do. Um, assume, I think RF tools has this, has this feature. Um, so we'll quickly go and grab it because we want to get this set up. It is called the counter. It's very, very good. Little blocks like these, I... They're so nice. Like, they just, they solve an issue, boom. You know what I mean? Like, they just, they, they just do it. All right, so. The way this guy works. Oh. Well, that didn't really work. Either way, that's fine. Um, so. We have this guy go over here, right? And we hook him up like that. And so, what we do is we set this guy. He needs to count five. Currently, he should be zero. Oh, set the current value. Fires when it reaches the count. Yeah. So currently we're at zero. So. Hmm. Yeah. So I take this out and it will be. No, I think I think we need. Because if, if I take. If I harvest this honey. It updates once. Right. So that goes around. And that counts as one. 
Whereas we want that to be zero, right? Because then one, two, three, four, five. So I think we want this to be six technically. Because when I activate this, that will then go to, oh, but I don't know. Because if I reset it then, what will it do? Let's pretend there's no honey in there, right? It produces one, two, three, four, five. When it produces that fifth one, it then has honey in it, which means I then want it to output the redstone, which would then bring it back to zero anyway, which would then send another pulse. So I think we do want six. I, I think we want six. I I'm pretty confident as possibly unintuitive as it may seem at first glance. So how's there? Oh yeah, I picked up that. So first things first, um, let's see if we can activate this guy and see what he does. Cause currently there's some honey in there. He just drops it. He, he couldn't care less what I've done here. Very interesting. Um, I'm going to try some vanilla shears in that case. See if maybe that's the difference. Do I have shears on me? I do not. Okay. That's fine. Let's go in here. Shears. I must have shears on me. There's no way I used all the shears. I... <sighs> shears. I do not see vanilla shears in there. I do not see them there. Okay, sure. <laughs> what did I do with the shears? <laughs> There's no way I used them. I must have left them somewhere weird. Okay. Shears in there. Okay, yeah. Vanilla shears. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. So, this would have output a redstone, which means this is now at one. And yet, this is at zero. Which means it will then go to two, three, four, five, and then sixth count, it'll happen. Yeah? Are we all on the same, same, same page? That should make perfect sense, right? And that should be fully automated as well. Correct? Are we, are we, are we happy? <laughs> I think so, I think so. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that should be good. Um, how many lumber bees do we think we have? I reckon we could probably breed these guys a, a few more times. Let's uh, go over here. So you, you, there you go. And you, and you. Now, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Um, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I guess. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. We wanted lumber bees, obviously. Not just more of these bees. But it's fine. Everything's fine. I guess. All right. So currently, it is raining. And it's daytime. Uh, two options. One is I sleep in our hammock over here, which goes to a sunset. And then we sleep again to obviously skip to the daytime. That's one option. Option number two is we make this thing, tablet of cloud shaping. Um, by default, it sets the weather to clear. It would require a feather and a cascading arch with log, which we don't have either of. <laughs> we can probably go get some, sure. Um, what are our other options then? I didn't really think this far ahead. Um, we can set the time tonight and we can make all that stuff except for the cascading archwood. I'd have to go and get a blue tree and like, I think we've seen one. In fact, is that, a, no, no, oh, is that a blue tree? No, that's a, a Mehau water. Um, I think I've seen a blue tree. <laughs> I swear we've seen a blue tree. <laughs> Maybe we haven't seen a blue tree. No, we have seen a blue tree. Here we go. So I could go over there, grab that guy and then we're good. Let's do it. Why not? Little adventure. All right. So we're going to go to Kazarak. Awesome. I'm going to quickly use my flight while we still have it. How much do I have? A minute 20. Beautiful. Um, we're going to come over here, chop the entire tree down. If it will let me 49 blocks. Perfect. We'll grab out our sword, which yeah, is no longer magnetic. So we actually do need to make a magnet now. I didn't think that far ahead. There also may be some in the crude oil. <laughs> I'm also, yeah, I'm not picking up the logs. Um, am I? Blazing Artwood. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. Okay. Oh, that, that looks like them though. So boom. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right. All right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And then we can place that back there. That will grow full size for the next person who comes over here and we can teleport home. Let me sort my inventory. Uh, actually, no, no, sorry. We're not going to sort my inventory until we change the weather. So, bear with me. <laughs> Let's go into, um, where is it? The picture of the moonfall. Awesome. We now need a clock. Nice and easy. We also need a block of coal. Also nice and easy. 
That will be a tablet of Moonfall. I, it's already nighttime, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, I don't care. We're going to make it daytime and then we're going to use the ritual just to show it off. So it is currently a beautiful sunrise. And then I chuck my tablet of Moonfall into our ritual. It's now waiting. So we can just sit here, I think like forever. And then I right click it. Oh, and it shoots stuff up in the sky. And as obviously you can see the sun disappear. And now it's nighttime. How cool is that? And then <laughs> we just sleep. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Beautiful. I'm I'm on board. I like it. <laughs> cool. All right, sleep. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy. All right, let me let me sort my inventory out. Alrighty. Oh, what are you? Lumber bee. Stuck in the corner. With luck, apparently. Alright, let's bring these guys over. Obviously, we would like um, the correct ones to breed. To make more lumber bees. So, let's try to make sure that that's what's taking place. Um, so, one of you and one of you. Cool. And I think that's it. I think the rest have done their, done their deeds. It's cool that the little ones can get the, the um, honey as well. I didn't really... Didn't know that was going to happen, but uh, it's cool that it is. So this thing should be on two. Yeah, current two. Awesome. I mean, that's that's going to work perfectly. Cool. Nice. Now, I'm sure there's a way to make this more compact. There's probably a way to do it with integrated. I don't really know how. Um, as for this stuff over there, we can fix it. Oh, what? Is there two of you? What? Oh, honestly. <gasps> we could get rid of uh, the need to sleep. Which means gets rid of uh, phantoms. I'm gonna get all of that, by the way. I'm gonna buy a bunch of the sturdy cages because the only other way to get those is with um, um, like dungeon chests and stuff. So I'll happily. I think that's how, anyway. Um, so we'll get one sleep charm that I will put on, and then we will get as many as it lets me of these, which is 14. Cool, perfect. And then we'll see what this guy's doing. <laughs> I don't know. It's a busy day, I guess. Pods all cherry tree, maple, mangrove. Uh, whatever that is. Um, that's fine. I, I'm sure one of those is like really cool and I want it, but unlucky. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, the sleep charm will go on somewhere. There we go. Cool. And now if we happen to stay up, because obviously we've got night vision and stuff, and even just our base is lit up, we don't have to worry about our phantoms and we'll just have to turn that off if we ever do want phantoms, I guess. Uh, but we have, I think we have a decent amount of membrane. Um, okay, so... <sighs> Alright, let, let's let's begin. Let's begin. I'm going to grab out these honeycombs. I know that's a bit messy as it is, but it's fine. We do have some honey. We've got enough for three bottles worth, I believe. Um, so to pull this off, we're going to need a spout, which I should be able to do quite easily. I'm not going to clean that area up just yet because... Um, why? <laughs> Why am I not going to? It's a wonderful question, I will say. Um, because I, I, I want to get some stuff done. I feel like we have uh, we didn't do much last episode. Like, I, I was happy with what we did, but I don't want to do it twice in a row, right? Uh, so we'll grab that. Go spout. Boom. I need some dried kelp. Oh, I don't have any dried kelp. Do we have any kelp? Oh, we do. Beautiful. And you can go in here. By the way... Surely I've got enough stuff to uh, upgrade this furnace once more, shall we? Um, I kind of forgot about all the upgrades and stuff. Oh, also the magnet. Hold, hold on, hold on. Magnet priority. Magnet. Um, I'm probably going to go for these, one of these magnets. The advanced or the, I guess we start with the basic and we take it to advanced. Um, eh, I don't have that stuff on me. This guy's just as good. So I'm going to turn him on and I'm going to chuck him wherever he will go, um, which is usually in there somewhere. But it's possible that I've taken up his slot, which is what it looks like. What do you? What are you going? You go in the charm slot. That's a, that's where you go. We have one charm slot. Really? Okay. Um. I mean, we don't need this thing. I guess. I. Hold on. If I search charm, is there like a charm pouch we can get? Some mods have that. Charm belt that holds mob charms, allegedly. Does it say it'll hold any charm? Charms can be put inside. Can be put in Bobble's belt slot. Okay. What about just like any other charm? I don't think so. I feel like we've tried this in the past. I'm willing to try it again. Because if it did work, it would be awesome. But yeah, I don't think so. I can try um hashtag charm. 
see if there's any other type of belt, but it doesn't look like it. All right, what does that belt cost? Um, it needs some charm fragments. I know we have some. If I search charm here, we've got one from those little uh, mosquitoes that fly around. I'm lucky. Um, I'll just keep the sleeping charm off. It's not that vital to my operation, I guess, even though I was just talking about how good it was. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. All right, how much uh, stuff have we got? 30, cool. So we'll make some more netherite. Boom, four ingots. What do I need to upgrade this guy? Is it a block? Oh, it's neither. Cool. So that's now an obsidian furnace, halving the cook time, so the smelt time. Um, to upgrade this guy, we would need magma creams, uh, which I can actually get from a molten core. So I will do that. Cool. And so that will now be a netherite furnace, which does not halve the cook time. It quarters the, the, the cook time. Um, sweet. I'll take it. The next upgrade would be like some rainbow furnace, but I mean, this netherite guy should be insane. So we'll chuck that guy back here. We'll chuck the factory augment within. We'll give him the uh, power to power. We'll turn on auto split. And what was I going to smell? The kelp. I chuck it in. That is the rate at which we are currently smelting stuff. That is pretty good. That was a full stack. I don't know about you guys, but I will happily take that. And that's the spout. Cool. I'm just going to do a fluid pipe. I'm nothing too special. Boom, 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 boom. That's all fine. I need, to, I need to get used to scrolling. The other system we had, you would shift right click to pull out like one item. This system, you scroll, scroll wheel. Scroll is used everywhere else. But for whatever reason, I keep doing shift right click and it, and it puts half the stack in. And it's it's a little bit annoying, <laughs> but I keep doing it. Um, anyhow, you're going to go there. Cool. Uh, no, you're not. You're going to go there where you should go. Um, you are going to go boom to put the honey in there. Cool. Uh, we just need to get a depot. We probably don't need a depot, but we'll, we'll grab one. Let's go here. Depot. Ba, 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 depot. Ba, ba, ba. Awesome. Da, 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 da. I do need to sleep um, relatively soon. So the episode might not be as long or as complicated as most of them. It, that, that'll go for this whole week. So I, apologies for watching now. And obviously in the distant future where this is like, it's like a... It's like a small sacrifice now means infinite of whatever the result is, right? Like if this episode becomes good because I put the extra time in, it's on the internet forever, right? Infinitely good episode. If I go like, oh, oh, I'll do whatever. Then this one episode, like short, short term gain, but then like long term, the episode suffers. <laughs> I know, I know it's like not the best way to think about it, but it is, you know, it's things to consider when you're, uh, when you're doing this stuff, I guess. Um, but it, it, it's fine. I, I do, I do try to be smart about it. And you know, if we miss a few days, we miss a few days. It, it does happen. Um, honey or oh, sorry, glass bottles into honey bottles should be doable with this. And how cool is that? I, I l create does it so well. It just does like that is beautiful. I love that. I love that. I, my favorite thing with Create is trying to think of how they can do things better. You know what I mean? Like, because they, they already do stuff so well. The only thing I really want that is like a little bit of a pet peeve is the fact that like you can see the fluids in the spout. You can see it in the tank. You can see it in part of the pipes, but you can't see it in these pipes. And obviously you can't see it in the pump. The pump, it's like fair enough, right? Sure, I guess. <laughs> but come on, man. There's so many corner bits and like even like the connector bits. And it's like, I just, I just want to see the fluid. I'm a simple man. I just want to see the fluid. All right, server's restarting. Um, luckily, because the pack is quite early on, it's um, very small in terms of, uh, like, loads pretty fast is what I'm trying to say. Also, all the mods volcano block. I want to play it. I do. It's just, honestly, I kind of want to, like, get this um, series on the, on the road. You know what I mean? Like, I have a fair amount of episodes in it where it's, like, we're invested properly. I mean, I'm invested properly right now, but like I want to obviously continue that. The series is doing pretty well. Um, the other series would do really well as well, but I don't, I like, I wouldn't have the time to do both in one day, right? So it would probably end up being alternating. Um, Volcano Block, my intention would be short-term, right? All the mods nine, we're, 
We're running it into the ground. Like we're, we're, we're following it through as far, as far as I'm concerned at the moment. Um, Volcano Block would, would probably treat like it to the sky thing where it's more of just like a, a fun little switch up. So let, let me know what you guys think. It's, it does sound pretty good. We, we tried playing Ocean Block in the past. Ocean Block was really good. I did enjoy that. That was from Feed the Beast. Um, honestly, Ocean Block with the uh, Ocean Physics mod. Whew, that, that would be pretty cool nowadays. Um, and add like loot chests and stuff. It was very, very creative. Um, volcano block. I, yeah, I like the sound of it. I, I haven't done like a lava, a lava pack. <laughs> We're just so weird. I've done the water pack. I've done a sky pack. I've done a ground, a ground pack. That would have been stone block, right? Um, and now we're at volcano block. What's next? What's next? <laughs> what is next? What, what, what could you do? Honey block. <laughs> Where you just like do bees the whole time. That's not a bad idea. Someone's probably already done it. There's um compact machine block. <laughs> I, I, they've got different names, but you get the idea. There's like where you just live within compact machines. That one's pretty cool. Um, what else is there? What's another good one? I don't know. I don't know. Get, what? <laughs> I mean, this is what they call in the YouTube business a call to a call to action, right? Where you ask the viewer to do something. And it makes you it makes you famous, <laughs> or at least that's how they word it, right? My my call to action: you don't, you're not meant to tell them. You're, I'm meant to pretend that this is like a serious thing, and I bait you into commenting, right? That, that's what they normally. But I'm letting you in, right? I'm letting you. <laughs> letting you in. Um, the call to action, right? Is I go, hey guys, I want to hear your. Oh th yeah, that's crazy. Volcano block, water block. What, let me know in the comments below. What, what's the weirdest? you know, block that, that you could make a mod pack out of. Like what, what would it be? Oh, that, that, that's awesome guys. Let me know. And then, you know, we get a million comments on this video because it's getting so many comments. YouTube's like, wow, best video ever made. And they push it out and then I become a millionaire. So I, I'm just saying the ball's in your court guys. I, <laughs> I've given you the call to action. It's, it's just, it's just a waiting game at this point. All right. What what were we doing? We were making. Oh yeah, we made um honey bottles. By the way, how cool is that? I just I, we just loaded into the pack. I've got shaders. I'm moving around. So hopefully, you didn't throw up. Sixty FPS around a moving structure. We've got like ten bees in that room. Bunch of things around. Some crazy particles. And yet, if I fly over here, we can't, we take a few hits. Honestly, we, I mean, we go down to thirty. That's I mean, that's still pretty good, but. I will say it is ridiculous how different the FPS is between over here and over there. Yeah, I don't know. Something to think about, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what, what to think about exactly, but you can think about it. Have a, have, a, have a good long think about it. All right. We are going to make honey treats. We're going to make three of them. There we go. So with these honey treats, the world is at our fingertips. We can do whatever we want. For example... We can go through and we can get this blue banded bee from a dirt nest. Um, and that's honestly what we're going to do. Because if I want to get my hands on a lapis bee, I don't know why I want one, but I do. <laughs> but what, do we, what do we actually want? Like, is there any resource we need that I could push for? Um, I mean, honey. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing we're really sort of mainly after at the moment. Um, hmm. I mean, netherite. Like, we've got this guy. Making us netherite is pretty good. Um, but I, I mean, I do want to make my way towards netherite. So I think we will, you know, go through this lineup. Um, we, we, we may as well. Um, so honey treat and a dirt nest. No, a jungle nest. Okay. This guy actually spawns from either a jungle nest, a dark oak nest, or an acacia nest. This here is just saying that it spawns in a nest, I believe. That's, that's all it's saying. But according to this honey treat on one of these nests, has, I guess, a chance to give us this stuff. So jungle, dark oak, or acacia. I don't believe I have any of that, but don't fret. If I wanted an acacia log, I could craft it with wood essence. Sure. Um, I could also craft it with a compactor. That, that, that's a fun idea. Um, you can obviously botany pot it. You could have the lumber bee, I guess, eat some acacia logs. I mean, we probably have acacia on the map, right? Like over in like this direction, maybe. Um, regardless, there's another trick up our sleeve, potentially, potentially. And it is the market from farming for blockheads. This guy will need, oh, yeah, he'll just need planks <laughs> um, and red wool specifically. 
So we can make a red wall. Um, we can make a planks, a singular planks, <laughs> of course. There we go. Awesome. And then we can search market again. Awesome. Awesome. Market. This guy is pretty cool. So, uh, my emeralds are all the way over there. We may move them over here at some point or, or something, but we can place this guy down. And you can look in the sky and... Boom! Here is our trusty swap I think it says. Um, so we can open this up and we have a list of all things awesome. So for example, I can buy bone meal. We've got fully automated, but well, not fully automated, but we've got a bunch of bone meal we can grab from this guy. Um, and I mean, that there's some other stuff too. I wonder, can I pick you up? <laughs> like easy villager style? No. Um, but more importantly for us, saplings. I can just grab an acacia sapling. I mean, it'll cost me an emerald, but you know, the, the thing applies. Um, so you're cool, you're cool. Let's grab a single emerald and let's craft, or I guess order, a single acacia sapling. There we go, cool. We don't need to um, go looking for one. I do, however, need to grow the thing. I guess we've got this on it. Awesome. So I can slap this guy down here. Ah, uh, you know what? I should, uh, I was gonna build it in there, but I, I don't really want him using the nest. I just want the nest, right, to spawn the guy. Um, ah, you know what? I'm, I am gonna do it. I changed my mind again. <laughs> we will, we will. I think. Uh, no, we won't. We'll, we'll grow a new one in there, right? But I'll get I'll get him out here first. That's going to be the plan. So I'll grow this um, like that. <laughs> yep. I'm going to chop this one down entirely. Um, our magnet should hopefully take care of everything else. Um, I should also, I'll tell you what, I will change the physics settings from being blocky breaks to... I don't even know what crumbled voxel is. What's crumbled voxel? Let's have a look. If I have this and I break it, oh, it just like breaks it into like little 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 crumbs, I guess. That could be a little. The fractured is kind of nice. What that'll do is it'll like, uh, I guess it's not that nice. They'll just sort of look like, you know what I mean? Like, whereas I kind of want them to just. I li I like the blocky. My only problem with the blocky is um. Oh, that looks horrible. Is that it looks like dropped items? You know what I mean? And if you have them any bigger, they just look like they didn't break. So, I don't really know what the play is. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I, I mean, I could just leave it off, to be honest. And then what would happen is we break a block and it's broken. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, anyhow, let's go ahead and make our sword. So, we'll jump over here. Um, wooden sword. Awesome. Boom, boom. Cool. That will obviously craft with an acacia log for an acacia nest. And this guy I will slap in there because I need to obviously spawn him. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just worried that someone will jump into the actual hive while I'm trying to spawn stuff. So, for example, if I slap this guy here and hit him with a honey treat. Um, I'm just hoping this guy like doesn't jump in it. See, they've just jumped in it. They've ruined it. Is he still in that? He's still in it, mate. Take a take a hint, right? All right. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> he just he doesn't care. <laughs> really, can I? Mate, get out of it. <laughs> Don't even think. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm. I, everything's fine. Remain calm. I'm. Just, I'm just gonna sleep. We're going to hope the guy leaves. We're going to. Yeah. Is it because it's night time that he won't get out? Like if I just hit that. Yeah. There you go. Grumpy pants. Don't even think about it. Yeah. That's what I thought. Stay in your lane. All right. Cool. So I've now got to apply this again. That's fine. Um, now this will happen in, what is that? Let's, uh, calculator. Um, so 1200 seconds divided by 60 is minutes. So in 20 minutes, allegedly, uh, that is too long. If I apply one, it takes off like two minutes, which is pretty good. But obviously I need a lot more honey to be able to do that. So it's sort of, 
It's a bit rough. Um. Oh, you know what as well? Oh, I can't help myself. I saw a mod that adds uh, fancy animations, like to the mobs running and stuff. It looked really goofy. I, I think I saw it on Instagram. Um, I might try and get that because <laughs> it looked it gen it looked really dumb. Um, and that's that's like right up my alley. Um, so remind me to get that. I'll, I'll try to remember. <laughs> Or don't remind me, because then I, if you don't want to see that, we'll, we'll see. That's going to take a uh, very long time. What, what's that? 1,000 seconds divided by 60? What's that? 16 minutes? Nice. Awesome. That, that'll be quick and easy. Um, we've got more honeycombs, I guess. Let's grab all of you. Um, let's go ahead and drop you out there. He's angry. He'll chill out soon. Calm down, mate. It's fine. It's not that big a deal. Um, we've got a little bit of honey. Chuck that there. Cool. Um, I will keep the rest there. I mean... Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can you use flowers? No. Okay. <laughs> I, th I thought that you could. <laughs> I guess you can't. Um, green carpenter to be inside this? No. <sighs> We've got to make a room for him. Because th these guys can't help themselves. I think he genuinely, like, bounced through the wall. Don't... You're lucky, mate. You're lucky. Okay. I've got a... I mean, how annoying. Okay. Um, we'll build it here. I don't know what we're going to build it out of. I don't know if I... I'm annoyed. I wasted so much honey on that. Um, what are we going to build it out of? I mean, realistically, just planks of some sort, right? We'll, keep, we'll try to keep it simple um, using chisel. Boom. Boom. What do we want to make it out of? I may just get bricks. They're fun. Connecting bricks. Cool. We'll do that. You know what? You know what I haven't used in a while? There might be a reason for it, but... I kind of just want to use good old-fashioned cobblestone. Or well, I guess... We just do some stone bricks. Why not? Do some stone bricks and some... Some planks. <laughs> Alright, so one, two, three, four. And then we'll go one, two, three. And we'll do that. And we'll do just this little shape here. I think that looks nice. Nice and cozy. Pretty simple stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then that will go up there. Yeah. Perfect. And no glass. Because <laughs> why would we? All right. What we can do next is we can make a mob filter. Player. That That's one option. What's this mod called? Dark Utilities. Yeah, that's probably what we want. Some of them have like a glass that you can walk through as well. They're usually pretty cool. Um, normally it's called ethereal glass, but I didn't really find it, I guess. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's fine. It, it could be in here somewhere. I don't, know, I don't know what it would be called in this. Um, either way, it may, may come in the future. Um, but this is what we want. <laughs> we want these player filters. I'm going to grab four... Eight, we would need nine realistically. So we'll have to make a little bit more than what we want. Uh, and then we just need fence gates, fence gate. Oak fence is probably gonna be the easiest. Um, one, two, three, four per. So I'm gonna need 12 of these guys. Can we pull that off? Somehow, somehow we did it. Boom and boom. That should be 12, wonderful. Uh, so what these guys will do is they will allow us to walk through. Now, the only downside is that we can't see through. But we can just walk through, right? How cool is that? Um, so yeah, we can just walk in here. Mobs can't get out, which means I can honey treat you. And there you go. Now, in regards to this guy, there is something else I wanted to mention. Um, oh, oh, actually, I have a few ideas. No. I was going to say, what if we did that time change? Does that change the seconds in this? Like if we made it nighttime, for example? I don't think it does. The, the reason I say I don't think it does is because, like, this thing runs on a timer. You know what I mean? And I don't... I'm like, I don't really think that happened, right? Like, I don't think it went too much faster. Well, I guess he... He's not, he doesn't run on a traditional timer. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Just for, just for the sake of experimenting, I guess. We'll, we'll try it out. We, we should have the stuff. I should have plenty of uh, redstone in here. This guy should be... 
filled to the brim. Um, let me attempt to empty my inventory a bit. All right, cool. Um, so now I can grab out all that redstone. Cool. Is there anything else I want? Dimensional shards we could invest already. I think I've got more dimensional shards in the uh, system as well, but that's fine. I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll grab out all that. Uh, I will leave a little bit of redstone just so that we can store it somewhere, right? If we Like that, for example. Cool. Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. I, I mean, there's a lot we can do there with stack upgrades and stuff. It's just... Not yet, I guess. Is, are we full? We're full. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and actually grab a bunch of that out again. We're obviously going to have to make more um, storage units. Cool. Storage. Uh, storage cell. Storage part. That's what we want. Yeah. Storage part. Okay. So, cool. Uh, once again, I don't really know what I've got. Any more silicon? That is going to be quartz. Yeah, that's, that's fine, I guess. Chuck that in there. That'll smell like crazy. Can we squeeze the quartz? Is that what we were doing with it? Um, I think so. Yeah. Once again, fortune's probably better here, but it's fine. Oh, that guy gives you four. And then I'm guessing you can smelt each of those up or something. You'd forge hammer it into that, and then you could wash it into that, and then, and then you probably do something with it. <laughs> Not a clue. Um, that's fine there. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we are having a little bit of lag, but I think it's once again, I think it's fine. All right, that's plenty of silicon. Beautiful. We will chuck that in there. So I'm gonna go for three parts, and then we'll turn that into a four parter, just because that's sort of the easy way to do it. Four part is going to need four basic processes, which I assume we can do as well. One, two, three, four. Cool. Once again, this furnace up here, beautiful. Genuinely just. Beautiful. Phenomenal, even. And that will be a 4K, and then that will upgrade into a storage disk. Like so. Excellent. And then, if this guy gets out of the way before I uh, obtain a few more leads for myself... <clears throat> portal charm. Quickly travel through portals? I do like that. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. I'll, I, we can... I'll, I'll make a deal with you. I'll make a deal with you. Here we go. Portal charm. Thank you. Do we want some coral? <laughs> he's, he's, he's stoked that I'm buying coral. Let's do that. I don't think I want a turtle. Not yet. All right, cool. Awesome. Uh, oh, but it's a charm. You, you need to stop pushing me, buddy. Thin ice. Very thin ice. Let me know um, how I can store more charms and stuff. I, I am interested in that. Oh, I saw the shadow. Um, okay. What are we at? We're at like an, an hour. Um, we stored redstone in there. The redstone was four, making another moon tablet to try and test the time. <laughs> and it's already pretty much night time. It, it's fine. <sighs> I think. I'll, I'll sleep normally once it becomes night time. And then I will, um, like skip the time using that thing and see if it, uh, has any change here. What's this at? About 900. Okay. Oh, and we got more honey as well. So we can actually... Speed it up a little bit more as well. These are a lot more efficient when you use them at the start because they lower it by a percentage rather than a fixed number. So each time you use it, it'll be less effective. So you want to use them earlier and then like not later on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So it's just about nighttime. Hold on. Yeah, I think we can sleep now. So we are at just about 700 seconds and I'm about to make it um, daytime, which shouldn't do anything because it just skips instantly, right? It goes from... Uh, night to day, right? I, I don't expect that to do anything, but we'll we'll double check just for the sake of our uh, consistency here. Yeah, still about 700 seconds, a little bit lower now, obviously, because that many seconds passed. Um, and then we go ahead and do a moonfold tablet here. We activate it. It is literally moving the sun throughout the day. Nah, this guy's not going any different. Ah, right, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Now, what I was going to say was um, a few episodes back. I don't know how many episodes back. So I do apologize. I could probably look for the comments. I think I can search for it. Um, let me search for the value um, speed. It was mentioned. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, Yusuf, all the way back on episode 18. So I think like three episodes ago. The green things you get from the farmers, so the verdant sprig, it's called. 
you might have seen we've, we've been getting these things from Roots. Um, uh, from Roots Classic, you can make a staff which is a wand, can increase the tick speed of blocks, and it's better than a time of the bottle because the wand doesn't need a time stored on you. So, if we right click the Verdant Spring, Sprig, the only thing that you can use, it's a spell component, you can use it in a ritual with the crystal staff, I'm guessing, imbuer. Okay. A living pickaxe you can make. Um, living shovel, living sword, a runic focus. That doesn't really look like a staff or a wand. Um, a growth one, I guess. Not really sure how that would work. I mean, that kind of sounds like what we want, right? This would be like a staff. We, we get the grow perk to put on our thing and it gives like, like it's got redstone for speed and bone meal for speed. Usually that's sort of what they do. That might be what we want, whatever that one is. So I don't really know how, to, how this mod works, but it, it is interesting. Healing, um, vacuuming. So I guess like hoppering. Then there's the actual staff. So I'm guessing that's how you make the staff here with all this stuff. So yeah, sure. Growing statue, repulsing, entangling, accelerating standing stone. Is that for our speed or is that for the machines? You know what I mean? Interesting. I, I like the sound of it. I've never touched roots. It could be something worth looking into just to just to try it out. Because, yeah, I've never touched the stuff. Cool. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, it won't be in this episode. It, it looks a little bit too in-depth for me to attempt that. Um, but... In the grand scheme of things, it looks pretty good. Um, okay, so... Um, yeah, I mean, we're just sort of waiting on honey. Um, realistically, I actually want to... Oh, I guess these... I mean, it's constantly being used. What we actually want here is an expansion box and possibly crafting more beehives. Um, but an expansion box is probably good enough. Expansion box. Um, we can just go for an oak one. It'll cost us a honeycomb. And what we can do is we can chuck this guy next to the other one and it will allow you to store more within. So for example, I break this, I place this, they connected their textures and now we have an extra two slots. So two more lumber bees can find their way in there. Um, on top of that, we get access to upgrades. Um, I may actually just take these out so that there's more room in here. By the way, you could also just have glass bottles in there directly, but yeah, that's fine. Um, in terms of the upgrades, if we go at bees, we have a bunch of upgrades here. There's productivity, which means you get more output. There's speed, which decreases the time spent in the hive, so also increasing their output. Um, and you can also put in a few of their machines. Then there's like some uh, baby ones, some breeding ones and stuff. You can get blocks instead of chips. We're already getting blocks, so I don't really know. I don't think that's really working currently. Stop the teleporting, increase the range filtering, gene sampling. There's also the simulator. This means they won't need to um, leave the hive, which that might help with frame rates. It might help with the server performance, especially if you've got a bunch of bees uh, in close proximity. Chuck one of these in there um, and they won't have to leave the hive. So currently speed and productivity is what we want. Now, once again, back on all the mod seven, I did a proper um, experiment, right? We had a bunch of bees in uh, cubes and we put all the different possible combinations of uh, upgrades in there. And I'll tell you what, I don't actually remember what was the best option. <laughs> Not at all. I, I, I'll probably have to go back and look at those episodes unless you guys happen to remember just off the top of your head. Um, but there's a specific upgrades that are just better. I don't know if it was the productivity or the speed. One of them is just infinitely better. Um, or at least was. Um, but yeah, cool. Now, there's no way to turn the honeycomb back into honey, like liquid. Bone gelatin. That's just disgusting. <laughs> um, okay, I could I could mix it and you'd get a little bit out with a heated mixing bowl. Um, or I could centrifuge it. Honey, honey, yeah. Okay. Um, that's probably what we'll do. Don't want to do it this episode. The episode's pretty much over. I I mean, <laughs> the, once again, this whole episode, we're going to get a single other B from this, which is just ridiculous. Um, that's fine. 
I mean, once again, at the moment, we are probably wasting our time using these honey treats on this uh, hive. But, like, what's this going to cut it down by? Currently 330. Took it down by 30 seconds, half a minute. I mean, <laughs> sure, like, it's, it's, it's okay, I guess. <sighs> yeah, look at the tree people. I don't think there's any new tree people. I don't think I saw anything between now and the last episode. I think we're... I think there might actually be less. Maybe. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was... <laughs> oh, but by the way, um, you know what? Once again, I could make a sword. We might have enough time for it. Um, this machine here gi gives us um, sinew, which I think is like a little bit awkward to find. So that's pretty good. We got some, <laughs> ignore the leads, I guess. Um, I'm going to make this sword real quick. It was suggested. Um, I did have it on my screen, but of course I've missed it. Oh no, here it is. Um, Sir Richard, um, <laughs> Sir Richard Hardon. Um, here we go. Better, here's the better sword. I've actually got a bookmarked here. Um, all the stuff. So we're going to give it a shot. Why not? So first up is Blaze Rod Tool Rod. Classic. Next up is using Sinew for the fiber for the binding. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to make one of these, a binding template. We're then going to use this stuff somehow in some format, I guess, <laughs> uh, to get what we want. Now, I may need to turn it into dried and then, yeah, and then it turns into the fiber. So you guessed it, that is very easy to achieve. I'm going to assume we wanted to smelt all of that. Um, and then this stuff just gets us the fiber, I guess. So we can chuck that in there. Um, and that will make us sinew binding. Oh. Oh. I guess I just do that. Sinew binding. Cool. Um, next on the list is grip. So we craft this. And grip you can make out of leather or out of um, phantom membrane. The difference is... The phantom membrane, I believe, according to um, Richard, is it gives you extra XP, courtesy of, I guess, Ancient 2. Um, what's our percentages there? 15, 10, and 0 0.2. This one is 10, 15, 0 0.15. Phantom membrane is just that little bit better, so we'll go for it. Why not? So there we go. That's our grip. Next up is the tip. Now, the tip, you have two options. Um, you can either go Lapis, and that'll give you, like, Fortune, I guess, luck, like, however that works, or you can do Nether Quartz for, um, extra damage, or Redstone for speed. I might do Nether Quartz, we may actually leave the tip, uh, for the end. For the Sword Base, we're going to use Crimson Steel. That is crafted with Magma Cream, Crimson Iron, and Blaze Rods. And if I can make two, then we can make a Sword. So let's go ahead and search Sword, Sword Templar. I know you can make Blueprints, but... I don't know, you gotta put effort in. Now this sword can still be upgraded further. Um, specifically, what was I about to say? <laughs> what specifically? Um, this stuff here. So there's Crimson Steel, there's Azure Electrum, and Tyrian Steel. Some crazy stuff. Um, well, I guess we made Crimson Steel, yeah. All right, so Blaze Rod gives us the Crimson Sword, which just by default, is better <laughs> than our current sword. Um, which arguably I should have repaired this one since it already is looting. Uh, hmm. I do want to try something. If I put a stick in there, it replaces it, right? And you get the other bit back? Yeah. So hold on. So I can search sword and I can replace that blade and get that back? Yeah, cool. And then I can place this in here. Uh, yeah, and that, that works. It keeps all the same upgrades. And it switches that out. Awesome. So then, can I chuck these in? Mm, maybe? <laughs> sure. I'm just going to chuck them in. Hope that it does something. I, th I think it did. I think it did do something. Cool. Um, Was there anything else I wanted there? I I don't think... Oh, the, the, the tip upgrade. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what. We've got looting three. I'm probably just going to... Oh, well, I guess we've got pretty good damage as well. Like, this is going to one-tap blazes. That, that's sort of what I'm mainly thinking about at the moment, is um, if I go back in here, blazes and endermen. Maybe we'll run out here, look for some endermen, if I can. Run out here, come on. Any, any endermen? Anyone? I, I, I've got a sword I want to test, guys. Please. <laughs> Plus. We'll, we'll test this sword out, and then we'll probably wrap the thing up. The bee might may have spawned as well. 
<laughs> if we're lucky, I, I don't know. Who knows at this point? Um, Enderman? Hello? Ender Enderman? Oh, here we go. Hello, Enderman. I'm going to stare at you guys. And I'm going to run here. And see if they've met me. They might not actually teleport up here. I may need to book it. Let's book it. Boom, 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 boom. Sweet. All right. Here's our buddies. They should hopefully fall into the hole. That was the plan, at least. Either way, can I one-tap you? No. How much is he left on? Which one? You. Oh, he's actually left on quite a lot. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Intriguing. Interesting. I mean, the Nether Quartz tip, like, that's... It's not going to increase the damage by that much, right? Like, not enough to one-tap the, the Enderman. Maybe a two-tap? If I'm really lucky, but it would, it would literally have to increase this guy by like four. I could probably put sharpness on it and that stuff as well. That would probably make more, a lot more sense to be honest. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just going to say I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm on board. Um, so yeah, cheers. Thanks. That's, that sword's a lot better. Um, this guy has a blue banded bee within him. Cool. So that guy is one part of the puzzle. In the breeding situation here. We now need a redstone bee that is going to come from a glowing bee and the chocolate mining bee. Chocolate mining bee comes from sand, gravel, or dirt nest. Glowing bee comes from glowstone nest. That'll happen next episode. The, um, what I'll do as well... Nah, I, I don't always like doing this in the series, especially like early game, but we'll chunk load this stuff, um, which means this stuff will be running offline, right? So we could get eight buckets worth of honey uh, backed up here. Nine, I guess, including this guy. And that should be good. In the future, we'll probably upgrade the tanks to be massive. So this guy here, can I... Almost one-tapped, yeah. Tell you what. I may consider the, uh, the Nether Quartz. <laughs> because it's so close to being good, right? Let's go Quartz. Do we have some? We do. Quartz tip. So. Yeah. Attack damage plus four. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, so if I chuck this guy in here, he's going to go from 15.6 to 17.61. But he'll lose um, whatever the ancient debris was giving. Oh, or the netherite, sorry. But yeah. Oh, actually, no, he'll just lose the diamond. Cool. Sweet. So now he's at 17.61. Uh, once again, I still don't think it's enough to one tap this stuff, but there is a zombie over here. We can test on, allegedly. Um, there's also a creeper. So, no, no, not not one tap potential. Sadly, obviously I could probably jump attack him. All right, yeah. So th there actually is motive for us to uh, try to get that better ingots and stuff. Mm. The problem is that this azure silver is uh, end stones. So we're gonna have to like go in there. All right. Well, anyway, um. <laughs> We're going to wrap this episode up. I know I said I wanted to do more, but uh, we kind of just didn't, did we? <laughs> I mean, I guess we automated the, the honey, but even then, we we barely did. What did we do all episode? Oh, we did this, I guess. Auto, <laughs> auto honeycomb. Sure. I don't know. That, that feels like a little bit of a fail for the episode, I guess. Maybe not. Um, We got a new sword <laughs> again. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, who, who knows at this point? Maybe I'll flip the image. That, that can look pretty good, maybe. Boom. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, These episodes are ones where it's like, sometimes certain mods are a little bit slow. Maybe I'm just slow in how I do them. Um, So yeah, Ho hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to our, uh, I've got to wrap this up pretty quick. Thank you to our channel members. Thank you to our donators, of course. Thank you guys, genuinely. Don't feel pressured to be one, um, but thank you to those of you that are. Thank you to our tier three channel members, Melizzi, Andre, and Final Phoenix 13. Thank you guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.